hey man, I thought I'd give you a quick little video versus trying to um, type out the answer to your question. I hope it'll answer your question, but if not, just uh, slip me an email or another post and, and maybe we can figure it out together. Um, I did a quick little scene for you and I'll explain to you what I've got going and uh, hopefully it'll make sense. So I've got a couple items in here. First, I've got the, let me zoom out a little bit. I've got this, uh, this tube, which I've just called mesh. I'll hide that and I've got a band let me just hide this replicator. I've got a band that was uh, generated by basically um, select the mesh, um, just doing a a loop and copying it and pasting it in another layer. Um, that gives me the band, which is perfectly aligned to the underneath pipe, and um, and then I created a simple little weld shape, and this is actually going to be the, let me get the terminology, the prototype for the replicator. So the band, which is this shape, is the point source and the weld is the prototype. Um, and th this is, I mean, obviously this, this can be any shape that you want, but in this particular case, um, a thin to a thick, and when you replicate that, it gives you, you know, a neat little um, turn the replicator on, a neat little um, welding shape or welding, what, whatever, a little ring. Anyway, um, I think the problem which you might have been having is uh, watch this when I'm using uh, this setting, use polygons, but if you do to um, point data, you get two rows in this case, and I think that might be the issue that you were having. I'm not sure. Giving uh, or setting this to align to surface um, just kind of gives you something weird, and uh, I think because you've got um, a couple a couple different rows of points, but I'm sure they all have. I mean, obviously they have their own uh, reason why they're in there. But in this particular case, I used polygons, um, and it worked um, pretty well. My earlier comment about um, freezing geometry, I, I'm not honestly. I just don't remember what I was doing. I probably didn't know what I was talking about, to be honest. Um, but let me just at least, sh and I don't really think it matters, to be honest, because if you just um, keep this at world center, and um, this, I mean the the weld shape, <clears throat> I think everything has hinges on the um, the fact that it's got to be at the center, or, your, or where your center is, um, of the of the point, I can't get the terminology right, of the prototype, okay? So maybe you can move this out of the middle of world space as long as your center is there. I honestly haven't tried it, so let's just do a live test. Move it out, yeah, and yeah, that works in item mode. But let's undo that and I'll show you what happens if you move it in polygon mode. I'm pretty sure I know what'll happen. Yeah, you start getting some weirdness because the center is still in the middle there and you've increased the distance between here and here. So um, so that's kind of some weirdness. So make sure that you're in item mode as you are moving, if you want to move this out. So um, now to get this um, aligned properly, it didn't come in that way. So all I did was to, um, I think is in polygon mode, it had to be. So I would, I would just take it and turned it, or you know, aligned it to how I wanted it. So, and you might need to do that too. I'm sure you probably, it's not gonna come in perfect. So you just make it like you make the shape and then just kind of manipulate it. So in this particular case, if I wanted to say tuck the thick part down a little bit more into the the weld, you know, you can rotate a it's not a great display of what I'm doing. See if you rotate it a little bit, it's gonna you now the tail of it it's gonna come kinda come up. But if you wanted that the thicker part to be a little bit more celebrated on the surface, you know, you can bring it back even more doesn't look like much like a weld but anyway you see what I'm doing here in polygon mode I'm manipulating this now if I wonder if I, what would happen if I 
did this in item mode, probably nothing. So there's a difference there. Anyway, that's it. And um, you don't, there's no need to keep the band visible or the weld visible. Um, and then just keep the replicator visible, obviously and you should be all set. So hopefully that answers some of your questions. If not, like I said before, just uh, slip me an email or another post and uh, we can figure it all out together. Um, so anyway, thanks man. See ya. Well listen, as a footnote to uh, this video, I just wanted to show you another kind of cool thing that I discovered uh, quite on accident. So, uh, but it's a really neat effect. Now if what you do, if um, if you have your your band selected, which is your point source here is band, and you have your prototype as weld. Um, hit band and then hit D, and uh, you get this really cool shape, um, which is not obviously not a weld, but man, that looks pretty cool. So, do a quick little render of that, see what we got. Check that out. Do it again. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of things we just don't know about. Just kind of play around with those replicators, and uh, and you get some cool, neat-looking stuff like that. So that's it. See ya.